Hello and welcome back, or rather welcome to our Let's Play of Delta Force 2. You can see I've already created my soldier here. And uh, Delta Force 2 I think mainly as a multiplayer thing lets you choose your arm patch. So being the patriotic, red-blooded, God-fearing, apple pie-eating uh, people that we are, we're obviously choosing uh, American Flag. So we see we also have the option of quick missions, so it comes with... Grab this. Probably almost 15 to 20 quick missions. So this will give us. Uh, I'll do these after. As as far as I know, I don't think they're tied into any one campaign per se. So we'll do these after um, after the campaigns. But um, we go to uh, first just to verify. So we're using the software mode because the video mode. Or the hardware mode has a weird glitch where like 3D objects render through terrain and the UI and it really messes with gameplay. Um, resolution 1024 by 768 just as described in the manual. Although if you tried to get this resolution from within the game you actually couldn't get it. It, it, it didn't matter if I was in hardware or software mode. I couldn't get the game. It only gave me the 640 by 480 and the 800 by 600 options as the last game. Uh, so I went and I looked around and I found the config file and I messed around in there and what you gotta do is you gotta, uh, they use a number to represent the resolution setting and you gotta bump that up to 5 or 6 I think to actually get the 1024 by 768 that they, um, that they advertise in the manual. Controls are gonna be the same for the most part. Hard AI, we will be using squad members because we like having allies, oops. Um, and then as far as GPS and wind, I'm just leaving that to default. Voice over net, that's the old IP, or what they used to call VoIP, which even now, I don't even think we call it VoIP anymore. I mean, it technically is, but um, I think feel like there's a different term the kids are using for that now. In any case, uh, let's go to the campaigns, and we see here, I'm sure there will be more options later on, but we have a choice of two campaigns, Operation Common Resolve and Global Enforcement. Uh, we will start in Antarctica, because I think that's an interesting place to put a campaign. Uh, right now we only have one operation available, Cold Storage, which, if I'm reading this map right, would be about here, so by, or no, here might be, so by Australia? If. I, I mean, if I'm correctly interpreting this part as this, which I think I am, but in any case, uh, oops, let's, let's read the campaign briefing first. Operation Common Resolve. Bioterrorism is no longer a what-if-it-happens exercise, it is now an immediate possibility. 48 hours ago, unknown forces raided a top-secret P4 laboratory in the Antarctic. Your team will immediately investigate and assess the situation. And we have, uh... Operation Cold Storage. Have deadly viruses fallen into terrorist hands? Secure Objective Blizzard and determine the extent of the damage. It sounds like clickbait right there. Have deadly viruses fallen into terrorist hands? Tune in at 11 for more information. So, in any case, let's go to our mission briefing. 48 hours ago, contact was lost with the top secret research facility located in the Antarctic. Codenamed Blizzard. The base is used to research cures for viral agents created and used by groups not adhering to biological warfare treaties. The cold climate acts as a barrier against accidental contamination. A recent overflight by a KH-12 reconnaissance satellite shows extensive damage to the facility. You are ordered to secure the lab and assess the situation. Alpha and Bravo teams will be inserted southwest of the lab. From there, all squads will move in and secure Blizzard. Once the facility is retaken, notify King 6 and stand by for further orders. So, I really like that they have a voice reading the briefings. It gives the game a little bit more character because I can kind of imagine her as like the unit intelligence officer or something giving us these briefings. We see there's a handful of enemies, not many. Uh, we will change our gear though, and uh, actually, I do like this loadout for the most part. Uh, delayed fragmentation. Uh, that's the default gear, huh? So we'll just be switching to uh, suppress 45 and delayed fragmentation, which I love. So now instead of grenades, 
instantly blowing up as soon as they hit something hard. We, if say we're trying to pop a grenade in a bunker and we accidentally physics into the wall of the bunker or whatever and it bounces off, we have a chance to run away and not kill ourselves, which is great. Uh, oh, and yeah, I think I'll be good with that, so extra ammo so with that and the other nice thing is now we can enter the mission directly from the gear screen so with that let's get into the mission all king elements moving to secure the base watch for civilians so we have a slight breeze it looks like that's interesting that we actually get wind this time we have a um looks like a destroyed vehicle here I hear gunfire. Bravo, well, I guess we're going alert. hot. Base is alert. I say again, base is alert. Yeah, how are they alerted? There's no way they could have seen me yet. All right, let's use our new fancy dancy delayed frag grenades and we'll see if we can arc one through this window and take out. Bravo, this is Alpha One. Watch for shooters in the tower. Ah, perfect. And he's out of here. I like how it counts the fence as a solid object, apparently. Alright, let's clear this building. Help! Fuck, you're killing civilians. Oh, you're the sucker who shot that other guy. No mercy for terrorists. You're clear, get out of here. Preferably not by running in front of uh, enemy bullets. It looks like there's... Shooters in the towers! Shooters in the towers! Looks like we have three waiting to ambush us. I don't know what their deal is. They're in kind of a weird pose, but it doesn't matter now. There's a helipad, presumably used to resupply from ships that uh, can't dock with this facility because it's too far in there. And I believe all of our enemies are now in the building. King 6, this is Alpha 1. Base is secure, but it looks like they've moved some of the hostages. So who are you guys? King 6 to all elements. Hostages have been removed. Proceed to extraction point. Alright, very well. We will proceed to the extraction. Uh, let's see. So we need to change our waypoint. We don't have an extraction point. Command, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, that was tense, but we saved, uh, we saved a few people. I'm guessing the friendlies were security? Uh, it looks like we got, uh, one scient- Looks like we got a couple scientists by the vehicle there. A pity that so many died, but... See, that's what happens when you run before an area is cleared. In these types of situations, unless the guy gives you an order to run, like, you know, when I told, uh... When I told those two in the back, yeah, these guys to run. We had cleared every building except that one where they were holed up. So it would have been fine because they had no shot. But then these guys, when we clear through here, all ran out. And at the time, there was a soldier there, there was a soldier there, there was one there. I think there was another one there. So they run right to where the soldiers are waiting and then they get executed. Hey, look, we can use ladders now. Although it's at the cost of we get uh, fall damage. Look at... He had a pistol? 
Their their sniper watchman was with ow. Hey, there's that fall damage I was talking about. So there's sniper. Don't, why is it jump? I just want to use the ladder to go down. So their watchman was armed only with a pistol. That's kind of funny. What were the rest of these guys armed with? He had a proper AK, it looks like. I know um, this guy. This guy had a poor scientist. This guy who executed hostage, he has a pistol. wonder if he was the commander. The radio room, yeah, that could be. Using this to keep in touch with whatever their headquarters is. So... All right, I guess that's all we can do for this mission, so let's end the mission. Oh, we don't get a... We don't get a deep briefing? That's a little disappointing. But it uh, looks like next time we'll be doing Operation Whiteout as we pursue the, the uh, hostages and the stolen viral materials. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and we'll see you then.